Hi everyone, I'm Kyle Lyon. I'm a pre-sales engineer here at Solutions PT. And today we're going to be going over the process of connecting to PLCs and end devices through a Viva system platform. So on the screen here, you can see I'm in the system management console, which is where we go to set up all of our drivers. You can see I've got a list of drivers that I've installed. So with system platform, you also get uh, the Viva communications drivers pack, which contains a whole host of drivers to connect to the various different vendors uh, of PLC. So you can see here, we've got the likes of Alan Bradley, Mitsubishi, Modicon, Siemens. There's many more that I haven't got installed. Those are just there as an example. So this would be where you would go, th go to set up those drivers, set up your topics, your registers, uh, various things like that. So today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking you through the process of creating a DI object within the actual system platform IDE and connecting that to one of these drivers. So today I'm going to be using the internal simulation driver just because I don't have a PLC here next to me, but the process would be pretty similar uh, with an actual PLC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of the SMC and go to my system platform IDE now. And what I've got is I've got a GR node that's deployed with an engine, an area, and an object that I'm not deployed because I'm going to be hooking that up to the simulator. So to connect to my simulator, I first need to create a DI object here. I'm going to create an instance of it and then open its configuration. So I need to provide the server node, uh, so which is the node that it's actually the actual OI server is running on, which for me is just on the same machine. So I'm going to use localhost. Obviously, if it's a remote machine, you can use IP address or node name. And then the server name itself, for me, it's sim. If you're using the likes of Modbus TCP, it would be MBTCP. If it was SI Direct, it would be SI DIR, and so on and so forth. And then I'm going to set up a topic for connection to the simulator. So I'm going to create normal and then hit save. What that's done is that's created that now. And what you should have seen is that's also added it to this IO devices pane on the right. And if I expand that, we can see that topic that I've just set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that onto my engine. And then I've got an oven object here with a single attribute that I've created for temperature. I'm going to give this IO. And you can see that it's created the IO box and it's generated this as a reference to where its IO goes. So this IO device here uh, actually translates to where it is within this list here. And that will make a little bit more sense as I save this, check that in, and then I can drag my oven onto my normal topic under my DI object that's now been assigned. So now if I deploy both of these, what we should start seeing is that that uh, oven object will now connect to my simulator and pull through some simulated values for that temperature. So if I open up my IO device mapping here, I'll bring that up and we'll click on my oven. I'm going to hit validate, which is just going to check that it's connecting through. You can see that that's validated successfully and we've got a runtime value showing in green here. If I hit validate again, it will change uh, values as according to when it actually changes within the simulator. You can see that it's just changed to one. So that's how simple it is to uh, connect to a driver uh, through a DI object and start using that DI object to bring through tag values for your for your attributes. So uh, thank you all for watching.